Good morning. I'm on the cart path. In fact, I've finished about three quarters of the way across the cart path. Now there was a video recently on the DP World Tour YouTube channel and a professional had driven on the cart path in the right rough, similar to this, three quarters of the way across the path. But he dropped on the fairway side, knocked it on the green and made a birdie. Now there was an awful lot of comments saying that the professional had cheated. You've got to drop the side that your ball is nearest to. And of course that's wrong. See, dropping from a cart path is nearest point of relief plus one club length. I also said, because I was arguing with some idiot on there, I also said it makes a difference if you are left or right handed to which side you drop of the cart path. So, what do you think is the correct ruling here? Three quarters of the way across the cart path, which side do I drop? And does it matter if I'm right or left handed? So have a think about that while I move the camera. The idiot I was arguing with said it did not matter at all whether you were left or right handed. You must drop to the nearest side of the cart path that your ball is. He was wrong. So just a quick reminder, I'm three quarters of the way across the cart path. The fairway is that way, the green is onwards. So which side do I drop? Well, we don't reference the side of the cart path. All that matters is that we're on the cart path. We don't measure from the edge of the cart path. We measure from where the ball is. And also, you must take full relief. So for instance, my nearest point of relief is not the edge of the grass. It's a lot further. So I'll just try and demonstrate what I mean. That is not the nearest point of relief because my feet would still be on the path. I have to get my feet off the path and measure to where my club head is. Now on this side, my club head is very close to the path. So on the one side, it's the nearest point of relief, full relief. Because I'm right-handed, my nearest point of full relief on the left-hand side is actually closer. If I was to get out a measuring tape right now and measure those two balls, my nearest point of relief is actually right across the cart path onto the left side. And in addition to that, you get an additional club length. Whilst I haven't actually proven it by getting the tape measure out, the left hand side in this occasion is the shortest. Now the pro had a tree in the way and by measuring the distance is edited out of the video. The video is edited to be very, very short. And I'm certain he had a referee help him do the, do the measuring. But by being able to drop on the fairway side, he was able to avoid the tree and make that birdie. But what if you're left-handed? Well, the ball's still three quarters of the way across the cart path, but now my nearest point of relief is this side of the path. Because obviously this side of the path for a left-hander is very short. The other side of the path, where the right-handed golfer dropped, is a very long way. Let me show you. So being left-handed and playing away from the camera, my nearest point of relief is here, which is very short. If I take full relief the other side, it is very long. So being left or right-handed makes a huge difference to which side you drop. So when you're dropping from the cart path or any path, any path that's ruled as getting a free drop from, it's the position of the ball that you measure from, not the edge of the path. 
and you must take full relief, which means that the unobvious side might actually be the side that you drop on. And by God, doesn't it make a difference if you're left or right-handed? So just remember, in the comments on that video, there was an awful lot of people saying that the professional golfer had cheated, that he should have dropped the side that his ball was nearest to. And of course, they are all wrong. So when I say learn the rules of golf, it is to protect yourself from idiots who think they know the rules of golf, but clearly don't. Cheerio.